Radioactive contamination could thwart the sell-off of a key site that Labor hopes will help pay for election promises. Nine News can reveal a report recommends further testing to determine potential risks to human health. This is the Theberton site the government wants to sell off to offset the cost of a new drill core library at Tonsley. Treasury's already raised concerns it won't fetch enough. Now an internal report prepared for the Department of Primary Industries and Resources and obtained by Nine News outlines significant concerns over radioactive contamination. It says radionuclides have been dumped as effectively landfill and warns there's insufficient information to assess potential risks. Despite announcing the policy two weeks ago, the Premier's in the dark. Are you aware of the nature of the uh, uh, issue that needs remediating at Debiton? Um, no, what's the no. nature of the contamination there? Look, uh, they're matters that we can supply to you. I don't, I don't have the information ahead. Nine News has also confirmed the site houses an old aircraft hangar retrieved from the nuclear testing site at Maralinga, although authorities insist that's been remediated. But the report strongly recommends further testing to determine potential human risk. I'm sure we'll sort you out with that. Is it radioactive? Look, I, I don't know the answer and that's something that we'll, we'll supply the answer to. With the trash talking in overdrive this campaign, Nick Xenophon's taken exception to Labor claims he supports reducing penalty rates. The campaign is false, it's misleading, it's deceptive. He thought he had the backing of Electoral Commissioner Kay Mousley, who wrote saying Labor's claim is inaccurate and misleading. However, she later clarified she'd omitted a key word from the sentence, not. He th thought it was a good issue to campaign on. When we push back and actually say we disagree, he actually calls for the oxygen. I mean, give me a break. Labor's chasing votes in the key seat of Colton promising a new Henley Beach police station, while the Liberals are pledging extra cash for the racing industry. With the finish line now only five days away, the pressure is on both parties to explain how they'll pay for their promises and when they'll reveal their costings. On Thursday. Oh, I can give you this guarantee. It will be before the Liberal Party. And Tom Richardson joins us now live. Tom, why are the costings so late? Well, tradition is to leave the costings till all the promises have been made. But in this contest, of course, there are precious few big ticket pledges and a focus on uh, balancing the budget. So these costings really could make or break either party's campaign. And the Premier suggested another possible reason for the Thursday deadline with an advertising blackout 24 hours before polling. It'll give Labor next to no time to attack the Liberals' figures. All right, thank you very much, Tom.